AI gun prep. JFC breeder box. Probably the best way of storing it. Weatherproof. Pretty much waterproof. Insulates it off the floor. Plenty of room for everything. So I've got my gloves, my chemise, some old uh, goblets, paper towel, tweezers, long reach tweezers, so I can keep below the frost line in the neck. I then use my head torch for selection. I run my flask inventory on a tablet so I can keep track of it and refer it back to the office if I need to. Run my lube on a hand pump just for ease of use and speed when you get ready to go and observe. Then I run a Dairy Max Super 4, just pop the lid, agitate the water before you put straw in, make sure your water level's alright. Pop the lid down for a minute. I run a set of technician's tweezers for lifting straws out, so you're not touching them after you thawed them. Then I use a straw cutter. The straw is always cut to the correct length with the backstop in there. And I'm left-handed, so a lot of the time I actually struggle with scissors. So that, that's a cheap trick to make the job a bit easier. Um, gun I'm using tonight is the IMD Combi Colour. I just pull the plunger a little bit, pop it down my back to warm while I'm getting everything else ready. So I'll then get one of my alpha sheaves out. You should hopefully there see the domed head on it. The outlets are at the side instead of at the end. They just pass well through animals. Um, I'm using these on second carvers and above, and then the TBS system on heifers and first carvers. So once I've got my sheaf out, pull a chemise off the roll. Be careful when you tear them off because they can just rip long ways. Chemise has got a little cut in it here. So, thread your sheath in, and again, look, you can see the job I'm having. If you do this before you build your gun up, and before you forge your straw, you've no stress. That, that's on now. Forget about it. Stick it down the front, let it warm up. The other advantage of putting a chemise on is you're not contaminating with your sheath with your hands or yourself warming it up. So, if you're a bit sweaty, you have a risk, a risk of killing your semen. So... The less contact you can have with it, the better. Uh, get a bit of paper towel ready. I'll have two folds in my pocket just in case I need a bit extra on the cow. Two folds. Ready for drying my straw off. Right. Get my tablet. Double check the bullet one, which is Rachel's Ferrari. Is a red straw and a yellow pot with a white printed label. So I'll just pop my head torch on, hopefully, not disturb the camera. Just check the label. Yep, Ferrari. Grab a straw, make sure I've only got one. Lower my goblet right to the bottom. Pop the straw in the thora. Set the timer going. There we go. Sort this back out. Stop her back in. Lid back down. Head torch off out of the way. Give my gun a little warm. Just bear in mind I've wasted a few seconds on the floor. Just check the temperature of that on my lip. Back down my back. Straw out, give it a little shake. Give it a wipe through the paper towel. Make sure it's absolutely dry. Expose the end. Thread it in the gun. 
just pull the plunger back in a bit to see it properly. Straw cutter up and chopped off. Sheath over the gun and I just put a bit of pressure on the end, locate the straw if you can see that, shove the plunger up until I've got a bit of seam in there in the sheath, turn it so the outlets are pointing sideways, back down my back, now all the gloves. Very good glove these, 21 microns, tons of feel. I really struggle with sensation in my finger ends through a lot of grinding and breaking concrete and all that sort of stuff. Vibration white thing that catches up with you. Glove well up and bare arm. Nice big handful of lube. And we'll go and see if we can serve a cow. No, excuse the mess, we've got the passages to clean out in the morning. Looking for 169, I believe is this one. Let's see what sort of clown she is. And I get hand in. Now I've served this one once before, but she's been jumping things today. You don't always see bull in slime. So just give her a nice clean off. Pop a bit of paper on the back. Make sure my chemise is well back. Gently insert, pointing slightly upwards. I'm going to get a tail in my face in a minute. When I'm nicely in, just split the chemise and pull it back. Keep heading in with the gun. I've got a nice big cervix here. Tail end in the eye. And we're in. Some of these first carvers can be a bit tricky. But I always take it as good as when the tail comes up like that because I think nine times out of ten they are well on bull and ready for you. I ought to make note of it because I reckon half the time, well more than half the time, it's nearly a guaranteed successful service. She's just decided to force a massive turd out while I've got the cervix. So I just need to reset. Get all the shit out of the palm of my hand. And make sure I am where I thought I was. Without disappearing off of the horn. Just pull back. Make sure your gun's free. Because you're not, you're not always guaranteed to be through. You're not always guaranteed to be in the right place. You, you can think you've got through the last ring and you haven't. And the beauty of these alphas and a bit of the danger of them is if they're mad bullying, you can go straight through and disappear up a horn. So that's good successful serve. I'll draw both hands out in front of them. Shake the shit off, get my bit of paper, take my chemise off, remove my glove, grab hold of my straw, or sheath rather, gun back down my back for safekeeping. Thank you, madam. Back out, and I'll just double check my straw before I'm finished. Hopefully, call it a night.